What's up y'all? Out here at the range this morning, it's down in the 30s and got a little breeze going, so it's chilly out here, but we're gonna power through it. As you can see by the title, we're out here testing the new kid on the block, the 30 Super Carry. Now, y'all heard my thoughts on this round already. I, I really just don't think it's something that's necessary, but and, and I don't really think this is gonna change my mind, but I'm just really curious to see what the exact performance is of it and get the feel for it myself personally. Now, one thing that should keep me from being too biased out here is, you know, like I say, I, I don't really see the need around but the tool i got today is the smith and wesson m p shield ez chambered in this 30 super carry and y'all know i'm a huge fan of these m p ez so if as long as this one's just like the 9 and the 380 i think i'll really really love the actual tool let me give you a quick rundown of what we're doing today and we'll go ahead and put a few rounds through it and then we'll talk a little bit more so got the 30 super carry smith and wesson like i say m p ez uh comes with two 10 round mags it's just the basic uh, ez just like all the rest of them pretty much got the grip safety uh, this one does have a manual thumb safety very easy to rack very easy to load you know everything about it is easy hence the name easy uh, three and a half inch barrel just like the rest of them now as far as the ammo the 30 super carry we're running 100 grain just some fmj some federal 30 super carry fmj 100 grainers out of it what my plan is today is just to run some rounds through it test the function of it as always get a feel for it uh, and then i'm gonna do a little bit of comparison with the 9 and the 380 version now the 9 i've got is exactly exactly the same. I mean, it's a, it's a standard version of it. Uh, no fanciness whatsoever. Three and a half inch barrel, just like the, the, the uh, 30 Super Carry. The 380 is a little bit different being that it's a performance center. It's got a different trigger and, and a little different uh, grip safety on the back, different sights. So some cosmetic and, and quality of life differences. And it does have like not quite a quarter of an inch extra of a ported on the end of the barrel, which some people may say, well, that's not fair. That's going to alter the recoil. But let's, let's be honest it's a 380 you're not gonna have much recoil anyway and that little tiny bit of port <laughs> ain't doing much i'm just gonna be honest with you but the ammo we're gonna run out of these the nine is gonna be the 115 grain just regular blazer full metal jacket and then the 380 is gonna be a 95 grain aguila full metal jacket so more common rounds i, I would say arguably 115 is probably the most common me full metal jacket round used in nine 95 the most common in 380 so i figured i'd use the most common weights of uh, projectiles in all of them also brought my chrono out i'm not going to do any gel testing on this particular video but the gel test between the 9 and the 380 against the super carry is going to be coming very shortly right after this one but i am going to get just a little bit of chrono readings on all of them today just see what kind of speeds they're running enough of that chit chat for right this second let me load up a couple mags in the super carry let's just test it out and make sure it actually runs all right y'all got us a couple mags loaded up uh like i said i'm just going to plink on some steel test the function of it first thing this uh, if y'all not familiar this middle blue silhouette that's exactly 10 yards from where i'm standing here the little two 10 inch rounds on the sides are somewhere around 14 15 they're not exactly measured uh but then the pink silhouette out there that's 25 yards exactly measured off from here uh so i probably i probably won't go any further than that 25 yards out here today with it just to make sure you know it, the the thing's running right and it ain't me acting foolish out there missing or something so one thing i did want to mention to you right quick is i'm using some new ear pro out here today i'm using the axle gs extremes electron earbuds the folks over at axle sent these out to me to test out and give them my opinion on it so i'm gonna be trying these out i'm not gonna go into any kind of great detail so uh, i want to use them for a few different outings out here and that way i'll do a review video and give you all my honest opinion on it whether i like them or not but uh, I'll, i will leave some links down in the description if you already know you want them if i mention something out here today where you can get some pretty big discounts on them down there so well, let's get to the business's hand out here let's see if we can put some of these on some steel down there first shots from the 30 super carry i'll start out here at the 10 yard or see what we can get all right that was me trying to get fast and fancy that one pull to the left was totally me so looked like I, I was favoring a little bit left that could have been me very first impressions what i can say it is is it is less recoil than a nine millimeter the sound is much different so you know that may be part of the perceived recoil difference is the difference in sound you know how that can kind of kind of mess with you a little bit it's definitely less push less less weight than a nine without a doubt so let me load another mag up and let's check out some of them other targets all right let me try a couple more on that uh, close 10 yard i'm gonna slow it down a little bit just to make sure it ain't it, it's me and i don't need to mess with these sights let's see what we get y'all yeah okay i think it's just me earlier
Although they are favoring a little bit to the left. Let me go out here to one of these uh, 14, 15 yarders. Let's try that orange one there. There we go. I think it is just me goofing up out here. I got to get used to these sights again. They're a little bit different than that, uh, that performance center for sure that I've been using. So let me try the blue one down there. No. There we go. I'm a little bit low. I'm favoring a little bit low on it. So I got to figure my aim out. Let me see if I can press my luck out there at the 25. There we go. Does seem like it's favoring left a little bit, but that could be just me. But let's do some more testing on this thing. All right, y'all, let's look at a few differences between this 30 Super Carry, the 9, and the 380. So, like I say, all these are the, the Smith & Wesson Shield m and EZs. As far as the ammo here, I didn't, I forgot my daggone calipers at the house, so I can't give you exact measurements, but I'll try to put some info in some inset close-up pictures over in here. Uh, but you'll see from left to right, the 30 Super Carry, the 9, and the 380. Uh, the 30 Super Carry is an 8 millimeter basically, so it's a smaller diameter than the 9 and the 380, but it's little bit longer the case length is actually a little bit longer than both of them you're looking at probably it looks like just eyeballing it about a millimeter longer than the nine and about two millimeters longer than the 380 basically the difference between the case length of the 30 super carry and the nine is pretty much the same difference between the nine and the 380 it, you can think about it like that now as far as the difference between these different m p shield ez's and the different calibers obviously one of the big claim to fame for the 30 super carry is the 10 round capacity so you got two extra rounds uh, over the 9 and the 380. The 9 and the 380 both got out 8 rounds. Now, one thing I can say is the magazine gets harder to load on this 30 Super Carry when you get to the bottom versus these 8 rounders. Noticeably harder to load the magazine. Now, nothing terrible, but uh, the reason I'm bringing that up is because these EZs are marketed for to be very easy for people with lower hand strength for whatever reason, uh, difficult, difficulty racking the slides, loading the magazine. So, uh, that, that's something that I would say is pretty important if you're looking at one of these EZs. So a little bit harder to, to load that magazine when you get to the end, but you do have the two extra rounds. Now, as far as the slide racking on them, I can just tell you right now, uh, just from my feel on it, the 30 Super Carry is actually harder to rack than the nine, not much. And it may be because I've worn in this nine some that makes it a little bit lighter. They're right there close, but it is noticeably harder to rack this 30 Super Carry than it is the nine. So take that for what it's worth. Now, as far as the 380, uh, there's no question the 380 is like a feather it's way way uh, harder to rack this none of them's harder now this don't get me wrong this is not a hard slide to rack but if you want the easiest possible uh, the 30 super carry is heavier than both of these as far as racking the slide now size wise on them um, without my calipers these are exactly the same the 30 super carry and the, the nine millimeter are exactly the same the the, the uh, slide is exactly the same width exactly Exactly the same length it looks like the exact same tool if you were to look at them from above and from the side as well same grip size um, just they, they're exactly the same size from what I can tell just from from my eyeball now the 380 again is smaller than both of them you can see noticeably thinner slide uh, noticeably smaller grip on it just just definitely smaller overall in the 380 off camera I did adjust this uh, rear sight on this uh, uh, super carry a little bit it was it was a little bit skewed off to the left here you could tell from the spacing uh in between the dovetail so very easy to adjust these rear slides there's a screw up underneath with an allen head on it uh, and it comes with the allen key so really really easy to adjust the slides on these but let's get these things loaded back up and let's run some through the chrono and check out the speeds on them all right y'all let's compare some speeds between these three calibers i'm gonna do a five round average on each one of them uh i did just notice something else too that i want to i'm gonna mention here after we get done with this that's kind of sneaky but i'll show y'all in a second here so let's try out the speeds on these we're gonna start out with the 30 super carry 1197 1204 1198 1219 
and 1182. So I'm gonna run them all and then we'll check out the averages. All right, let's test out these nine millimeters. I'm gonna try to pay attention to the recoil on this one too, but uh, after we're done with this, I'm gonna do a slow-mo recoil try to from the side so y'all can see uh, the muzzle rise and all that too. So let's get these speeds for now on the nine millimeters. Ten sixty five, ten eighty three, ten eighty four, ten ninety two, and ten ninety one. So let me reset it and we'll check out the three eighty. All right, let's check out the three eighty. Um, as far as the recoil just then on that nine, it was definitely noticeable a little bit more out of that nine. I'll be honest with you, but I'll, like I say, I'll pay more close attention here in just a second. But let's get these speeds on the three eighty, y'all. Eight seventy, eight eighty five. 883, 916, and 873. So let's go down there and check out those averages. All right, so here's the five round averages. For the 30 Super Carry, we got 1,200 feet per second. For the nine millimeter, we got 1,083 feet per second. And then for the 380, we got 885 feet per second. So pretty interesting stuff. All right, y'all, check this out, what I just realized. Um, you know, the big claim to fame, one of the big claim to fames about this round, probably the main one, is that you get two extra rounds in the same size of a package. Well, that's not absolutely true. Uh, I've noticed on these mags, I was, you know, it's got this little funny little piece on it. And I thought, what the heck is that all about? Because it's not on, you know, it's not on the 9 or the, or the 380. And then when you look at the bottom of the grips, you know, they're the same. The grips are the same. Got the same little piece hanging down and all that. Well, here's the deal. When you put these mags side by side, the mags are longer. The Super Carry mag is longer. So absolutely you get two more rounds because it's absolutely not true that when you put these magazines inside these tools, the 380, the, the 30 Super Carry is bigger. It's bigger. Now, is it bigger by much? No, but you could put an extended uh, base plate on a 9 or the 380 and have the extra capacity also. So to me, that's a little bit disingenuous right there to say, yeah, you get extra capacity in the same size package when that's absolutely not true. That's 100% not true. And that's why that little piece is there because you got the extended base plate so it has to take up that gap. Uh, that's a little, that's a little just ch sneaky cheeky to me right there. All right, y'all, let's do just like a kind of a perceived recoil test here. I'm gonna do five rounds out of each one of these. I'll do some slow-mos too. And hopefully against this backdrop over here, you'll be able to see the right Rise, I'll slow it down and you can maybe check it out and see what the recoil and I'll try to pay close attention this time to see what I think about the recoil so uh, I'm gonna just do five rounds out of each at kind of a, a steady pace not real fast but a steady enough pace we'll start out with the 30 super carry and see what it feels like here we go y'all five rounds Not bad, not bad. I got that that sight definitely fixed up and lined up a lot better. I'm, I was aiming a little bit high, but it's pretty much the wind is just right on. So let's try out the nine millimeter now. All right, here we go with the nine millimeter. Same thing, five rounds. I'm gonna try to keep about the same pace on it too. Here we go, y'all. 30 Y'all probably know what I'm trying to say. It's it's maybe got more push from the nine, a little tiny bit, but honestly, the snappiness, perception of the snappiness is not as much on the nine. I, I take that for what it's worth, but let's try out the 380. All right, here we go with the 380. See what it feels like. I'm sure it's gonna be a, a bright much less, but I'm trying to do the same thing with five rounds, y'all. 
Oh yeah, I mean, there's absolutely no question on that. I could, I could speed run this thing, no problem. All hits on target. All right, y'all, I'm gonna run one more mag of the 30 Super Carry out. I'm gonna try to redeem myself out there at 25 now that I've adjusted these sights a little bit. Let's see what we can get out there. There we go. Ah. There we go, not too bad. I was going a little bit too fast, so not too bad at all. All right, y'all, I think we're calling it right there for the first run of the 30 Super Carry. Um, interesting round, you know, like like I said before, when I came into this, I thought there's really no use for this. And and to be honest, I, I really still think there's just, I mean, it, it really we really didn't need this caliber. I mean, honestly, you really didn't need this caliber. Um, if you're talking about having two more rounds, I mean, you can get a doggone 13, 15, 17, 20 round nine millimeter that's almost the same size as this, to be honest with you. And and to me, that little hole extended magazine base plate thing, that's sneaky because even when you compare the exact same uh, tool here, the 30 Super Carry versus the nine in this EZ, it's bigger it's not much bigger but it's bigger so of course there's more capacity now and that was their big claim to fame as far as one of the claim to fames on this caliber was more capacity in the same size package and and that's just simply not true now it's close but we all know what close counts in <laughs> horseshoes and hand grenades and and this ain't either one of them maybe i'm making too big of a deal out of that but i mean like i say i'm trying to find the purpose for this round um it, it's nearly the same exact recoil now granted on this test here today we had 20 more foot pounds of energy out of this 30 super carry than we did out of the nine millimeter so you got 20 more foot pounds of energy out of that but i, I just don't know y'all and that, that's going to be very dependent on the weight of the projectiles and all that if, in my opinion there's still just really not a need for this 30 super carry now do i think it's a bad round no it's definitely not a bad round i just really don't see the need for it um if you're you're trying to get in between a 380 and a nine somebody that's running a 380 most of the time is going to want super compact for that purpose or either they're going to want something that's incredibly light recoil and very easy to manipulate and and this don't fit the bill when it comes to that that 380 is way less recoil and way easier to manipulate than this 30 super carry so it, it ain't for the 380 crowd and like i say as far as the nine you're right there at the same you're, you're right there i mean you're right there so i just don't really think there was a need for this new caliber personally but i may change my mind after the jelly test those are going to be coming very very soon i know probably Y'all was wanting the jelly test on this one, but it wasn't done cooking yet. So y'all got to give me just a little bit more time on that. But y'all let me know what y'all's thoughts are down in the comments on this 30 Super Carry. Do you plan on jumping on board on the 30 Super Carry? Do you, you don't see a need? Uh, you think it's a good round, bad round? Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. If you enjoy the video as always, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload new stuff. Check out my Amazon affiliate storefront link down in the description. Like I always ask, if you shop through Amazon anyway, hit that that link up first go through amazon from there and anything you buy anywhere on the site i get a kickback from towards the channel so i really do appreciate that one more quick mention on these gs extremes so far i'm really loving these things i'm i'm loving that i can still hear myself they got bluetooth so i can answer my phone or do whatever i need to do without taking these foams out and, and reinserting them and all that so so far it's a thumbs up on these for me but time's gonna tell like i said i'm not gonna do a full review and give you all my full opinion until i test it out some more but i will leave links down below if you're interested in and checking them out already appreciate all my range gang members who reached out and hit that join button i thank y'all very much for that thank you to every single one of y'all who watched my videos thumbs up subscribe to the channel and like i said again leave me comments down below let me know what y'all's thoughts are on this 30 super carry plenty more good stuff coming down the line so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon